there were questions right away. Go ahead. Kevin Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, can you just talk about the welcome you got at Oracle and what it was like to play on that court for the first time as it now it's your home court? Yeah, it was amazing. You know, the atmosphere was great. Energy was great. Um, fans showed me major love, so I appreciate that. And uh, uh, looking forward to the season, I guess. But, you know, it, it, was, it was good to get out there, you know, in front of him and, uh, and play well. Marcus Thompson, Barry News Group. You you went over to chat with Steph. Uh, what was that like? Was it was it good to see him sitting courtside? Yeah. You want me to get you a transcript on what I, I said? Love that. I would love that. Uh, no, nah, it was just catching up, uh, but it was good to see him. Glad he came to support us. Him and Dre, uh, it was good to see him. Um, so, oh yeah, uh, just asked him what he was doing for the rest of the summer and told him when I'll come back and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, Eddie Mason, I with Yard Barker. You guys squeaked one out tonight. Um, <laughs> um, if basketball doesn't work out, uh, if you could play anything else besides basketball in the Olympics, maybe when you think about when you were a kid, what sport would it be? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I didn't have a plan B, so I, I can't really answer that one. Um, but if nah, I wouldn't do any of those. I wouldn't do any of those. It'd probably be ping pong. <laughs> that seems like it's a little easier than, the yeah, so. <laughs> Monty Pool CSN Bay Area. Kevin, it took you like seven seconds to make that first three-pointer. Is that something that, how that feel and how important was that just to get that out the way? I mean, I wasn't really, I didn't lose sleep over, you know, today. You know, I just wanted to be myself, do my normal routine. Kyrie, being such a great guy he is, you know, he told me before the tip that he was throwing it to me no matter what. And I knew I was going to pull the first shot since, like, yesterday. And, uh, and uh, luckily it went in. We're done? Any Jacob Palmer, San Francisco Examiner. D did it feel like home out there? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It, was, it, it, felt a, it felt a little weird, <laughs> you know, for these, these fans to be cheering me on like that, obviously being somewhere for so long and then making a change. But it felt great, you know. I just I appreciate all the basketball fans that come and, you know, uh, enjoy, you know, uh, us playing. And, you know, but it was, it, was, it was cool, man. It was different. Obviously, it's going to be different. But, you know, the vibes were great. Everybody showed me major love, showed the team major love. So it was fun. And what did it mean? You got – you had Steph on the sideline, Dre on the sideline. They were both saying hi to you. And then before the game, Draymond made a made a nod to you especially. Does it feel like they're making an extra effort to really welcome you here in the Bay? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, they, they know the decision I made and, you know, how stressful that time was. You know, just trying to make me feel comfortable. And I appreciate them for that. You know, that's just testament to who they are as people. So, uh, you know, being great teammates already, man. So I'm looking forward to, to a great season. Kevin, has the time you've spent with um, Clay and Draymond kind of given you an idea of just what to expect and how easy it might be or how it's going to be when you do get the training camp? Yeah, I think I figured Clay out. Um, kind of figured out his movements and how, and how he is. And Draymond, uh, it's a different guy. And uh, I've been around guys like that before. And uh, we've been tight. You know, guys like that, we've been tight. So I'm looking forward to just, you know, it's different when you're in the season and you're in the long grind for – 82 games, you know, just seeing a guy every single day. So um, I'm looking forward to that part as well. So they, they, they're two great teammates, man. It, it's a, but here, Team USA doesn't seem like, you know, us three are just, you know, isolating ourselves from the rest of the team. And, you know, and uh, we're, not, we're not making anybody else feel uncomfortable with our relationship, I guess. So um, that's the best part about it as well, just being with, you know, 11 more guys that are just – Super cool and relaxed, and it's just been so fun. You know, I've I've gotten lost in being part of USA. Kevin, with Coach K, we discussed humor, um, and that he's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, how are some ways he might have poked some fun at you to help relax you and the team? He's always making jokes, and it's kind of funny because he'll make you know you make a joke, and he'll keep it going for a couple minutes, and it's like, uh, all right, Coach, we got it. We got to. We got to get back to the to the task at hand, and you know. But uh, he he's always looking at big picture things, and 
he 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 came in today and was just like, look, man, you know, you guys you come from these small towns and look where you are right now and. You know, he, he, he puts things in perspective like that. It really relaxes everybody. So you could tell he's been around it for a while, and uh, he knows what's most important in life. Uh, and he makes he makes all his players feel comfortable. So we'll do two more questions here. Ethan Strauss, ESPN. Um, Clay said when he saw you hit that first three, he thought to himself, this is going to be a problem for the league. Do you anticipate it clicking like that with the Warriors, or do you think it's going to be – a more difficult process, like say the Heat had in 2010. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know I'm a basketball player, and I know I like to serve my teammates, and I know I like to play a good brand of basketball. And so, whatever that translates into, we'll see what happens. And uh, I feel that like they're the same. They're the same way. I'm sure I probably won't shoot that many deep threes. That's just not how I play. Um, but you know, I play a different game. Uh, but I don't, I don't envision anything bad happening or any rifts between teammates or, you know, obviously it's going to be a transition period because it's new, but for the most part, you know, I'm going you know, to try my best um, to fit in, um, but also still play my game. And I think everybody else around me is going to try to elevate me as well. Uh, so it should be fun, man. It, it'll be fun figuring things out. I, I'll put it that way. Katie, uh, obviously, this Warrior team have a lot of uh, different personality. And how your personality is going to fit into this team? Like a dream on fire, you know, Clay Thompson is kind of like a very quiet guy. And then how your personality is going to fit in this whole team? I'm just going to be myself. You know, um, that's all I can be. Um, you know, and I, f I feel like these guys, uh, they'll accept me for who I am. They'll... Uh, understand who I am, you know, I'm trying not to change, you know, how I, f how I approach the game or how I approach practices and, you know, leadership, you know, I just stick to what I always know and, and how I do things, man. You know, it feels like, you know, like you said, they got different personalities and Draymond stay who he is, Clay stays who he is, Steph, you know, it, uh, Dre and Sean, you know, they're different personalities, but it works well because they understand each other. So, you know, just add another guy in there.